Welcome to the Wind Trust Arena and to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago's 2022 Commencement Ceremony. At this time, we ask that all phones and devices be silenced or turned off and that you refrain from flash photography. Out of respect for all participants in our ceremony, please remain seated with your masks covering your nose and mouth throughout its entirety. Thank you. We begin today's commencement exercises by acknowledging that we meet on the unceded homelands of many native and indigenous peoples, both known and undocumented. In particular, this arena is situated on the land of the Potawatomi, Kaskaskia, Kickapoo, Mianmia, and Peoria peoples who held countless gatherings, ceremonies, and rites of passage in this area. Since the 1700s, a series of treaties, policies, and conflicts forcibly displaced these ways of life and propagated the genocide of native and indigenous peoples throughout the continent. In acknowledging this history, we seek to minimize replicating this cultural erasure now and in the future. As we celebrate graduation today, we affirm that Chicago is home to more than 65,000 native and indigenous Americans representing about 175 tribes and includes individuals who study and work at SAIC.
Good afternoon. Welcome all to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago's commencement exercises. Throughout today's ceremony, you'll find the event captioned live on the screen shown above and on either side of the stage. If you're watching on simulcast, just engage the CC tool to view the captions. I am Martin Berger, Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs, and it's a great pleasure to, re to return to SAIC's first in-person commencement since 2019. Not only do we recognize the class of 2022 today, but we also celebrate the more than 200 students from the classes of 2020 and 2021 who've returned to March in an in-person ceremony too long delayed. We are able to gather today in relative safety thanks to the precautions we're all following. Specifically, everyone, graduates, delegates, and guests in the audience should remain masked throughout today's program. There are only two exceptions. First, the delegates, honorees, and students with speaking roles during today's proceedings may remove their masks when speaking at the podium, as I am. Also, graduates, after you walk the stage and receive your diploma, you may remove your mask for the duration of the photo that will take place immediately after you descend from the stage. Otherwise, everyone please keep their masks on while you're in the arena to minimize the spread of COVID-19. It's the least we can do for our remarkable graduates. It's for good reason that commencement speakers consistently celebrate graduates for overcoming challenges. After all, only 35% of Americans have completed a four-year degree, and only 13% have any type of master's. All of you persevered through the demands of SAIC's rigorous art and design education. In addition, many of you overcame financial strains, interpersonal challenges, and the social and cultural adjustments that come with living away from home and adapting to a new community. Our international students confronted the dislocation of studying abroad, far from friends and family, and, and learning in a language that's not your native tongue. A growing percentage of you persevered as first-generation college students, and the majority of you also overcame the added burden of living in a society that continues to privilege the needs of heterosexual white Christian males. The impulse to celebrate you for having overcome significant obstacles is only heightened in our pandemic era. When the school made the extraordinary decision to transition to online learning in March of 2020, few could have imagined what the next two years would bring. In the years since, you've worn masks, social distanced, skip family events, experienced delayed weddings, and missed funerals, and somehow managed to study ceramics, performance, and fashion online. In the early weeks of the pandemic, many of you disinfected canned goods with Clorox wipes and wore masks while exercising outside. While it would have been understandable if you'd retreated into smaller circles during the pandemic, you chose to reach out expand your circles, and look after others. CP students from around the world collaborated on a digital self-care magazine that brought comfort and expressive outlet to thousands. Sculpture students created a virtual gallery to promote experimental collaborations and radical art-making projects. And a number of you made or enhanced personal protective equipment for frontline medical workers to show your support for their contributions to our common good. In addition, student leaders designed programming on activism to help ensure that all of us enjoy equal rights and opportunities, and many of you pressed the school to redouble our efforts for mental health and wellness. Even at the depth of the pandemic, you maintained hope and built connections to our broader community, and you looked out for others. 
The past two years have brought catastrophic loss to members of our community and to millions of others around the world at the same time that they sparked you to innovate. Throughout the pandemic, you have demonstrated adaptability, resilience, and care. Given all that you have achieved under adversity, I can hardly imagine what you will accomplish as the world returns to something approaching normalcy. Your faculty and staff at the school, along with your friends and relatives at home, can't wait to see what your generations brings to our world as you leave SAIC and take on your roles as citizen artists of the 21st century. To help us begin our ceremony, please join me in welcoming Chair of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago's Board of Governors, Anita Sinha. Good afternoon, students and graduates. It is indeed an honor to look out and see all of you. You, the nearly 1,300 of you, are an impressive sight. When you're walking across the stage later today, be sure to look up and out at all of your peers and friends. This may be the most important image of your commencement. There will be many moments and images today. In celebration of all you've done, we will have speeches, awards, honorary degrees, and videos. But the centerpiece of today's commencement is you, walking across the stage while your family and friends, your classmates and faculty look on, as my fellow governors and I do, with enthusiasm. The Board of Governors are a volunteer group of professionals, educators, artists, designers, and art lovers who are dedicated to SAIC's continued flourishing. We are also enthusiasts. We are enthusiastic about you, the artists, designs, and scholars of the future. You are also the entrepreneurs, teachers, innovators, leaders, parents and citizens of the future. And we are here, along with everyone else in this arena and those watching on Simulcast, to celebrate your graduation and all the many different things that will come hereafter. What you do with your education will be as diverse as you are. You come from different backgrounds, from all over the country, and some of you came here to study from another country entirely, just like I did for my doctoral work several years ago. Just as your pasts have been diverse, where you go and what you do in the coming years and decades may surprise you. Growing up in Mumbai, I never would have predicted I'd become board chair of one of the world's greatest art schools. So, thank you. Thank you. So be open to what your lives will become in all their surprise and variety. 157 years ago, when a small group of artists began what would become SAIC with a smattering of classes, they could not have imagined the depth of scholarship, array of disciplines, or social engagement that you, our graduates, have shown in your study and practice at SAIC. What they saw in 1866 was a need and 35 friends with whom to create a solution. Over a century and a half later, here is your school, enduring, and a museum. And most importantly, there is you. Imagine what you, more than 35 times their number, will create. Is that hard to see? Too unpredictable? Well, when you're up here, just look out. From this stage, I promise you can see the future. It's now my pleasure to introduce SAIC President Alyssa Tenney.
Hello, this is an incredible view, uh, even better than I remembered it. It's just fantastic. Uh, working in higher education for over 40 years, I've always loved commencement and have genuinely missed the graduation ceremony these last two years. It's so powerful to see all of you gathered, returning, and soon to be graduates. It's heartwarming to be with your friends and family. It's comforting to address you alongside so many colleagues and humbling to share the stage with our esteemed guests and honorary degree recipients, Lee Bull, George E. Lewis, and commencement speaker, Angelique Power. That makes today, as it should be, extraordinary, consequential. Through today's rite of passage, you'll walk across this stage, and metaphorically speaking at least, be transformed, ready for the new. Commencement comes at the end of a course of study, but it's all about beginning. When I speak at commencement, it's usually these near magical paradigm shifts I concentrate on. But I can't help but wonder, have we had too much extraordinary lately? Some of our recent out of the ordinary moments have been tragic. The pandemic, months of isolation, too much loss. Some, however, are for the best, a much needed, an ongoing push for racial justice. Innovations in health and technology, outpourings of care. But whether for good or ill, it seems nearly every moment feels like an inflection point. It's reassuring then that the graduation ceremony is an inflection point that has a comforting regularity. It happens each year, and soon you will have completed a ritual which generations of previous SAIC graduates, over 30,000, have also undergone. In this way, graduation signals that, that there is much for you to do and that you have been doing exactly what needs to be done. There is an urgency in this moment, our tumultuous 2022, and yet, every SAIC commencement inaugurates the continual renewal that the contributions of artists, designers, and scholars bring to our shared society. So for the duration of today's ceremony, let's balance in this place between yesterday and tomorrow. In this grand arena, for only a few hours, there is a space for both reflection and for hope, while we dwell in this transitional place, allow yourself to be comforted by all you have already achieved and be ennobled by all you will yet to do. Because after today, the world needs you to embark on the work of the citizen artist. Being a citizen artist isn't about what country's passport you possess. It's about your awareness of the interconnectedness of all people. It, mean, it means you realize your work, the very stuff you make, is not made in a vacuum. Your work has resonance in the world. It has presence, often physically. And it has the power to shape our imagination and catalyze our will for transformation. But what, you may wonder, will that transformation be? Situated in this space between college and life after art school, you know that there is neither much certainty nor many unassailable truths. Nevertheless, your ability to thrive is not predicated on the world being tidy, predictable, or free of difficulty. You will meet the challenges of our shared society with the same creativity and resilience you practiced in school. Remember the skills you learned at SCIC. Remember the questions you asked and how you pursued them. 
knowing there was no definitive answer. You explored risking the safety of the known and resisting the pressure to conform. You embraced failure, trying again and again in an iterative learning process. And you learned the value of constructive critique, which demonstrates the breadth of wisdom in the community and reveals opportunities for change. You return to these lessons throughout your life. Therefore, it is only fitting to recognize the visionary practitioners and dedicated educators who taught them to you. Faculty, please rise if you are able or wave so that graduates from the classes of 2020, 21, and 22 and their guests can applaud you. Thank you. Now, graduates, I invite you to please stand, if you are able, and take a look around you. There are thousands of well-wishers here today just for you. Among them, you likely have a parent, a sibling, a guardian, a relative, a friend, a partner, or somebody who helped you reach the threshold of SAIC. Or if your someone could not be here today, if they are far away or no longer with us, please picture them in your heart to make them, in a sense, close. These supporters knew you before your faculty and classmates did. They likely sacrificed to help you get here. They loved you before you came to college, and they are ready to embrace the citizen artists you have become. They deserve that standing ovation. Now, as we continue to hold this space between what has been and what's to come, we turn to some of your thoughts and achievements, graduates, beginning with this video reflection from members of the class of 2022. I've made a lot of really, really close friendships here. I would say my favorite memory would be pulling all-nighters with my classmates. It ended up being the best time of my life, and now they're like some of the best friends I have in school. I started right before the pandemic, and kind of through that, a lot of us in my cohort that I just knew from school kind of made sure we got together to support each other, whether that was meeting virtually or in person, kind of taking time to get to know each other a bit better through that. And I really appreciated that throughout the time, because switching to virtual school was a lot. August 2021, watching SAIC students return to campus, being able to be in person after COVID, after the pandemic. Going to school through a museum and like looking at the art. I spent hours just admiring the Renaissance paintings. I'm obsessed with the Renaissance. Walking through the halls and seeing all of the different kinds of stuff that people are carrying around or pushing, like anything from a giant baby head to pieces and parts of the sculpture that people are working on. Being an international orientation leader for the first time, I guess just like interacting with so many diverse people and learning about so many cultures. It was kind of amazing how much impact an orientation leader can have on people. My favorite art word. Art word? Um, my favorite art word has to be paragone, and it was used to compare mediums. I think my favorite and least favorite word is the same. It's used, I think, in every single critique at SAC. It would be juxtaposition. Juxtaposition? I'm very tired of that word. Juxtaposition? Well, juxtaposition, it comes up a lot. To translate, like, that verb, creativity. Ephemeral. It just comes up like when you least expect it. My defining art school moment. When I bought my first pair of docs, 
pulling like, all-nighters of a bunch of other people for like projects due the next day that you just started because you're a freshman, you're just figuring out how to do everything. I was walking down on Michigan and I ran into Elm Green and Drag Set. I saw them and I said, oh my gosh, it's Elm Green and Drag Set and no one else. None of my friends knew who they were except for me. I bought my very first box of hair dye. I'm very glad I didn't go through like a blue hair phase, but I did go through a green one. I was like, I'm gonna go crazy with my makeup, my clothes and everything. Well, I had like blonde ends and like dark red roots and it look and looking back in photos it looked absolutely terrible but in the moment I truly just felt like I had so much autonomy and so much freedom over myself. So I came for a film and cinematography but my freshman year I took an intro to art and tech class and that kind of blew the doors open for me and I had a virtual reality piece and that was kind of my first big interactive piece that I did and that was I was really proud of that. So I make these things called long Furbies. It's where you take a Furby like the toy like the 90s 2000s toy and you sew a torso to it. I make them to represent different parts of my identity. The recent project that I did titled Building a Building for my BFA show so it was interdisciplinary piece combined with the ceramics and prints. I'm graduating as a designer and or painter if I do say so myself. I, I, I just got to try so many new things and I'm so grateful for that. I think I'll miss most a lot of the faculty professors. I've gotten some really great things from them, whether that was like advice or tips, I just learned a lot from them. All my teachers, I'm gonna miss my teachers a lot. I will miss my supervisors and I miss my teachers, just the kind of connections that you can build here and the kind of materials you have access to. What you can make is kind of endless. The one thing that I'm gonna miss, I think the creative freedom that I have in school. SAIC has taught me to be more of an accepting person, not just to myself, but to others. I'm gonna miss the people here the most. The community of like studio, like you're just working with a bunch of people on cool projects and like talking and sharing information and knowledge. I won't miss the not sleeping enough, but like the studio jams I'll like miss. The community fuels one to thrive uh, in being their authentic selves and I don't think you get much of that when you leave these doors. Just to be a part of a community that is not only so accepting, but also so championing and so encouraging of each other. It's one of the most unforgettable four years of my entire life. Is there anything else that you want to say? Or? I want to say no art making in the restrooms. <laughs>
First, listed on the screens and on the commencement website are the names of those students who received honorable mention. Would those students who received honorable mention please stand if you are able so we can recognize your tremendous commitment to the school and to each other. Now we turn to this year's recipients of the Student Leadership Award. It should be noted that although these students have distinguished themselves in very unique ways, they share one remarkable quality, a sustained relationship over time with the school as opinion leaders and student advocates. I'll announce the name of each of the student award winners as they will walk across the stage for their final bows. Please join me in congratulating them. Ready? Shreya Agarwal, Esther A.J., Sophie Bookmiller, Elise Butterfield, Ale Campos, Chauncey Daniels II, Blake Drennan, Nicole Finelli, Eve Feldman, Eunice Ferreira, Faith Godwin, Jordan Hart, Elizabeth Hying, Iomi Ho Ken, Ye Bit Hong, Kavya Kataria, Shama Kiffer Tesler, Stellar Heron Khan, Juan, Sophie Lopez, Jason Luo, Tanya Malhatra, Mariana Meha, Audrey Nguyen, Ashley Parisi, Olivia Nikolai Ridge, Jan Rong, Eden Sanders, Lily Schumacher, Esti Shapiro, Jade Sheng, Iris Stratman, Carly Trujillo, Danielle Tyler, Marin Williams, Se Yan Wang, Song On Yi, and Yi Han Jang. Please join me again in thanking our graduating student leaders. It's now my pleasure to introduce members of SAIC Student Government who will present the Faculty of the Year Awards. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shreya Agarwal, and I am joined by SAIC Student Government, students who work to represent the student body and serve the community. One of the best parts about being on student government is hearing from the students themselves things that they truly enjoy about the school, faculty in particular. We are here today to honor two exceptional teachers with the SAIC Faculty of the Year Award, an award that gives students the chance to nominate faculty who have had a positive impact on their experience and have made outstanding contributions to the SAIC community. Today, we will have two awardees, one full-time recipient and one part-time recipient. I would like to first present the winner of the Full-Time Faculty of the Year Award. This incredibly generous person has fully committed herself 
to the advancement of the SAIC community as a whole, specifically by her work in promoting disability studies and disability justice. A professor in the art therapy department, she is extremely compassionate, encouraging her students to explore the intersections of disability, psychotherapy, and community care through a critical and self-reflexive lens. She has shown exemplary service in her classroom, co-creating an academic space with her students in a way that makes them feel empowered, heard, and valued. This instructor has built loving and lasting relationships that extend outside the classroom and even beyond graduation. Please join me in awarding Sandy Chun Shan Yi the esteemed full-time Faculty of the Year Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Shania Malotra, and I stand here today on behalf of SAIC Student Government to present the Part-Time Faculty of the Year Award. Today, I have the honor of presenting an award to a faculty member who has transformed the writing department at SAIC and used her platform as an educator to elevate marginalized voices. Not only has she been a role model, leading by example, but also found the right balance in motivating and keeping her students interested in their work through in-class discussions and exercises. Her undivided attention and focus with each and every student has been well received by her class. A gentle coach, as one of her students calls her, this teacher has transformed the rigid space of the writing department and created a safe space for students of color and members of the LGBT plus community by placing an importance on empathy, community building, and mentorship. She has been instrumental in making and elevating the scope of the writing department by emphasizing the understanding, utilization, and expansion of poetic structures through a lens specifically celebrating poets of color and has made her students fall in love with writing all over again. Not everyone is as lucky as to have a teacher that is so understanding of their student's life and so passionate and nurturing, pushing their students to their maximum potential. So please help me welcome, with a round of applause, Shekhubi Danlade on stage. Congratulations. Now we turn to the award of our honorary doctorates. Each of our honorary doctorate recipients this year has made remarkable contributions to art, culture, and scholarship. Their work is in keeping with the values of our institution, and we are deeply honored that they have accepted these awards in recognition of their importance to our community of artists, designers, and scholars. To introduce Lee Wool, our first honorary doctorate recipient, is Department of Art History Theory and Criticism Associate Professor Jennifer Dorothy Lee. Hi all. For many among us, the oeuvre of Li Bull or Yi Bull presents a radical departure from Asian and global art movements of the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, including post-war monochrome painting, Tansekwa, as well as the Minjong art, a kind of mass art most prominent in 1980s South Korea. Lee has grown out of these established 20th century movements, all while channeling the massive socioeconomic and political transformations of a South Korea then newly freed from military dictatorship and veering at breakneck speed toward the 21st century. Throughout her career since the 1980s up to the present, Li Bull has channeled such macrocosmic transformations into a new generation of fearless transformative practices. She is a rarefied figure in multiple senses, 
a woman, a citizen of the Republic of Korea, and a global contemporary practitioner who bridges Korean historical experience with an art world ever hungry for Lee's meticulous scrutiny of psychological isolation and indulgence, brutality and bliss. Lee Bull has long offered to us a spyglass through which by close looking, we might piece together the clashing and often contradictory means of her art making. She positions us to interpret social meanings of mediums that generally speaking shouldn't go together. Foam, lacquer, steel, fiber, barbed wire, human skin, and yet under her ministrations, such materials cohere like creatures hailed out of fantasy into three dimensions. For decades, Ebold's performance, sculpture, and installation work have posed stark challenges to male-centered social and kinship structures of authority and judgment. Many of her works are rebuttals to such hierarchical absolutes. And much like the structure of a rebuttal, the Bull's works command our engagement while at the same time holding us at bay. The Bull is a visionary who sees through absolutes and helps us do likewise. Thank you, Professor Lee. Li Bull, you join us today to be recognized for your extraordinary contributions to contemporary art. Your work across media epitomizes the work of an SAIC artist to engage, to interrogate, and to pursue urgent questions wherever your exploration takes you. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, and the Board of Trustees of the Art Institute of Chicago, I now confer upon you the degree of Honorary Doctorate of Fine Arts. And now to introduce Georgie Lewis, our second honorary doctorate recipient, is Department of Sound Associate Professor Lou Malazzi. Lou has taken ill earlier this week. Though he is recovering well and regrets being unable to join us today, he pre-recorded his citation to ensure the safety of our guests, graduates, and colleagues. So turn your attention to the screen, please. George E. Lewis is a musician, composer, artist, and scholar. He is Edwin H. Case Professor of American Music at Columbia University. Those are his academic credentials. Now I'll focus on his life credentials. When I was first asked to introduce George, I was honored and elated, and I still am. Not just because of SAIC's acknowledgement of his many achievements, which is important. I'm elated and honored because George profoundly changed the way I listen to, think about, and move through the world, and I am certain this is true for countless others. Meeting him more than 30 years ago, my world was fundamentally rocked through George's music and his person. He has a searing intellect, a quick and heartfelt laugh, and a generous spirit. At the heart of his work is a rare quality. George is a virtuosic listener, a quality indispensable for an improviser and for an educator. 
George was an early member of Chicago's Association for the Advancement of Creative Musicians, and true to the AACM philosophy, he has deeply probed and invigorated great black music and its tributaries for five decades. He is one of the foundational figures in the world of interactive computer music, which he began investigating in the late 1970s. In his groundbreaking Voyager improvising computer music program, in his virtuosic trombone improvisations, in his prolific collaborations, performances, new media works, and recordings, George has transformed the way we experience the fundamental human significance of improvisation. His voluminous writings on the aesthetic, social, historical, and technological intricacies of improvisation foreground the depth of the histories, narratives, complexities, and identities of black cultural experimentation and continue to challenge prevailing myths opening a profound interdisciplinary, intercultural, and intergenerational discourse. Freedom, George. Freedom is a question that you ask again and again in all those many worlds of improvisation, experimentation, and discourse in which you thrive. Freedom is a question, perhaps unanswerable, that nonetheless demands to be asked, and we must keep on asking it as you keep on asking it. Nothing is more vital in a world that seems hell-bent on destroying freedom and abridging discourse. You wrench away the layers of stagnating violence masking freedom, and what emerges is a declaration of insistence, resistance, provocation, and beauty. I hear this in your music, I read it in your writing, I listen and I reflect, and I am transformed by you asking the delicious and unanswerable question of freedom. Thank you, George. George Lewis, welcome back to SAIC. You join us today to be recognized for your extraordinary contributions to contemporary art and music. As a composer and scholar, your work across forms, often improvised, expands how music is made and whose contributions are celebrated. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and the Board of Trustees of the Art Institute of Chicago, I now confer upon you the degree of Honorary Doctorate of Fine Arts. Now to introduce Angelique Power, our third honorary doctorate recipient and commencement speaker, is Department of Arts, Administration and Policy Associate Professor Kate Dumbleton. If our ancestors and our history have taught us anything, it's that in the face of unimaginable struggle comes a symphony of superhuman connection, connectivity, and response. Our better selves rise and stretch across the chasm, not because we have to, but because it in fact saves each of us, not only one by one, but collectively. Hold tight, hold tight, Hold tight. Angelique Power penned these words of encouragement and resolve for a Field Foundation newsletter on March 15, 2020, just moments after much of Chicago shut down 
amidst abject uncertainty. A clear-eyed, humanistic leader whose vision is deeply informed by care and radical hope, Angelique evidently knew we would need these words. I suspect, in fact, that far from simple inspiration, she knew that these words would become an urgent call to action. They have been. This knowing is both personal and professional. As president of the Field Foundation, Angelique reframed the organization's philanthropic efforts to focus on illuminating and dismantling systems of inequity and shifting resources to disenfranchised communities. She developed networks of support and inquiry to launch Enrich Chicago and its mission to imagine and create an equitable arts ecosystem. She engaged philanthropic collaboration to create leaders for a new Chicago and convened mapping the COVID recovery project to address the disproportionate impact of the pandemic on black and brown communities. And now she is an advocate for empowering youth in Detroit. But on this particular day, I am compelled to acknowledge Angelique's personal investment in supporting the next generation of just justice-minded arts leaders. She has mentored many SAIC Arts Administration and Policy graduate students over the years. I'll share some words collected from them, from just a few of them. Wisdom Bhatti, Brett Swinney, Raquel Iglesias, Aru Shaquille, Sophia de Calejo. Quote, it was inspiring to see her strength and ability to build a strong path forward towards racial equity and community empowerment, despite many challenges and pushbacks. Through her mentorship, I learned to unapologetically carve out space to be my authentic self. She taught me to approach my work with sincerity and most importantly, joy. Angelique inspired me to pursue my career in philanthropy. She transformed my imagination and understanding of the impact I could have on the world. Angelique is a reminder that being best is not what you do, it's a matter of why you do. And for Angelique, it's for all of us. Angelique Power, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Thank you. Angelique Power, welcome back to SAIC. You join us today to be recognized for your extraordinary contributions to cultural leadership. Your work as a maker, writer, advocate for racial equity, and driver of community-based change epitomizes the interdisciplinary spirit and civically engaged mindset of the SAIC artist. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and by the Board of Trustees of the Art Institute of Chicago, I now confer upon you the degree of Honorary Doctorate of Fine Arts. bananas. Um, thank you. I, I am likely the most ordinary commencement speaker that SAIC has ever had. Um, some of you might even be feeling a little ripped off right now. And I commiserate. I mean, this school is expensive. The SAIC experience has likely left you with a full slate for your therapist for years, years to come. 
And then you get who to speak at your commencement? <laughs> Angelique Power? That's likely not even her real name. <laughs> but perhaps it helps you to know that I was once in your exact shoes, entering the School of the Art Institute in 1996, I was so excited to be in the city. This is my hometown. I was so excited to be in the school with its global prestige and to be a pioneer or a guinea pig um, in the inaugural uh, SAIC MFA in writing program. I was the first class. And at that time, it was the only one in the country that was set in an art department, in an art school instead of in a literary department. I was this black Jewish Hyde Parker with cat eye glasses and wild unbrushed hair who spent most of her days writing, writing poetry and fiction and love letters. Arriving at graduate school, I thought I had found this safe place to sit and dream. Well, that ain't grad school. <laughs> First of all, in 1996, I was one of a handful of students of color on the campus, and there were very few faculty members either, but shout out to Calvin Forbes. The canon that we learned to reference was mostly American or European white men, and there were some white women that were a part of that too. The critiques on my work often lacked a cultural competency from the professors and, and some of my fellow students. And I remember when I was a teaching assistant, I had designed a course where I was gonna take undergraduate students and we were gonna go around the city of Chicago and we were gonna sit with hip hop artists and with storytellers and we were gonna go to open mic nights and it was promptly dismissed as lacking substance and rigor. There was no juxtaposition at that time, but. <laughs> um, and what I will say about that is that that is when the lessons of SAIC really began to materialize. Some of the lessons that you learned here are stated Many of the lessons you learn here are unstated. And in life, it's the unstated lessons that are often more important. Carry the commitment to studying the unstated lessons into the world with you. You are going to need it. Today you're receiving diplomas for BFAs and MFAs. Some of you are even getting dual degrees. Yes. What your diplomas won't say is that the function of an art school is to learn that creativity isn't a lightning strike. It's a daily act of channeling electricity into something bigger. It is very hard work and its tenacity in the face of very few understanding what you are up to. It's an unrelenting belief in the currency of your own ideas. And while ideation is absolutely the lightning strike, implementation is the way to tell the artists from the merely aspirational. We are in fact the dreamers and the doers. We are the builders. We stick to it and we build into the unknown. We build into what could be. In this room, there are over a thousand students, over a thousand dreamers and doers who stuck with it through the pandemic because you are artists and administrators. You are not one or the other. You are in fact the ampersand you connect ideas and reality. And when you feel despair, you channel it into bravery. Carry this ability into the world with you. We need brave, connective souls right now. So did I mention the school is expensive? 
I left SAIC and I dove into the job market to begin to pay back my student loans. I worked in corporate America. I worked in museums. I worked in foundations. And in every place I work, I understand there's so much unstated to study and learn. Every day, I study how money moves. Who is making decisions and for whom? Who has power and who is the beneficiary? What are the stories that we tell ourselves? And what are the actions? And do they match these stories? What is the economic system humming in the background? And how is it designing our destiny? From wherever we are in our lives, we have platforms and opportunities to study the unsaid and use these lessons to shift institutions, to disrupt old systems and build anew. For instance, I've spent the last 11 years in philanthropy. Every day, I do whatever I can to move money and power to people who are visionaries, to black and brown artists, media makers and storytellers, organizers and community leaders, and young people, always young people. Every day, I pass the mic and the money and help others lead us to where we need to go. That class that got turned down back in 96, every day I work to make sure that the unseen is seen, the unfunded gets capital. I use the currency of my ideas to fund the currency of your ideas. Every place you go, continue your studies. Bring your artist's mind, bring your administrative heart, bring your ampersand soul. Get a bachelor's degree in unspoken system design and a master's in the resistance to equity and justice. Study the power lines, study the money, and know what you're learning you are going to use to build something new one day. Carry this with you into the world. The redesign of our entire tomorrow needs you. As I said earlier, there's an electricity in being able to invest in your own ideas. And more than being able to hear your ideas, you are carrying with you the ability to know when these ideas are mediocre at best. SAIC teaches us to manifest our ideas, but not to fall in love with our own reflection. To hear the most scathing critiques. And I mean, there should be a master's degree in shit talking during crit week <laughs> and disguising it as objective feedback. <laughs> right? I mean, some of y'all are summa cum laude in the art of critique, honey, okay? But this is why an art school education should be mandatory. Recognizing our own mediocrity and demanding we keep at it, we keep pushing, we push past it, we do our best thinking and work to channel the unexpected but sorely needed into being. Carry that with you today. Replace the hollowness of hubris with genuine humility. Lord knows, the world needs us to look at ourselves and ask for more. You also turned that powerful gift of loving critique on this institution itself. In the past few years, you asked SAIC to go deeper with each of you, to ask itself how it's complicit with structural racism, with white supremacist culture. You asked it if it's serious about what it means to do and if it's willing to touch the third rails inside of the art world itself, the racialized capitalism of contemporary art, of curatorial authority, of collecting and procuring and trading in who is not here, 
who anoints whom and whose canon. Today, SAIC has its first anti-racism committee in its history. And soon, an ombudsman to mediate conflict, a dedicated space for BIPOC students coming this fall, and an acknowledgement that this is not enough. But it's going to keep going. It will keep building. And you are now challenging it to contend with a non-tenure track faculty union. You are demanding that it understand how pay equity is critical. You did this. You're doing this. You created an ensemble demanding justice in the world and in your own institution and change, change is in motion. You chose to recognize SAIC and each of our own mediocrity around equity and justice and demand we keep going. We push past it. We do better thinking on it. We keep working to channel that unexpected but sorely needed into being. So what comes next? Well, and I mean this lovingly, you will need to recover from your SAIC experience. <laughs> I say this not because it's SAIC. I say this because that is the function of a great art school. As much as you have shaped SAIC and helped it grow, you chose this space to change yourself first and foremost. SAIC is meant to shatter ideas of space and ideas of self. It is meant to knock you down so you rise up stronger. It is meant to use iron to sharpen iron. So go forth with all of your inheritance from this place. You are made of big ideas and the tenacity to make them real. You are made of tough questions. You will not accept mediocrity, not from yourself and not from any institution or system. And most of all, you will build boldly into the unknown. The world needs builders now more than ever. We need the artists. When people ask, how can I run a foundation while rethinking philanthropy? I say it's because I have an MFA instead of an MBA. I say it's because I am an ampersand, anchored and swirling, building and changing, inclusive and wild, intersectional and swooping. To the class of 2020, 2021, in 2022, you are the ampersand. You are the parentheses and the bold. You are the italic and the dot, dot, dot. And the world has never been more ready for you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Power, for that stirring address. Despite what you suggested at the beginning, that was anything but ordinary. <laughs> uh, 
is now the most important moment in our ceremony where we provide company for Drs. Lee, Bull, and Lewis, excuse me, for Bull, Lewis, and Power by bestowing degrees on the classes of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Before we begin conferring degrees to these students with us today, I would like to take a moment to honor an MA candidate in visual and critical studies who ought to be here, but sadly is not, Danielle Tyler. As many of you know, Danielle passed away last month. A recipient of a Student Leadership Award, Danielle is remembered by her peers and colleagues for her wonderful ability to invite people into conversations, whether in the classroom or through the exhibitions she curated, making everyone feel at ease and empowered to address difficult topics. SIAC was made a better place by Danielle, and we are pleased to mark her many accomplishments to the school with a posthumous Master's of Arts in Visual and Critical Studies. Now to present the candidates for graduate degrees and post-baccalaureate certificates, I am pleased to introduce Interim Dean of Graduate Studies, Delinda Collier, and Associate Dean of Graduate Studies, Nicole Hall. Class of 2020 Masters, Master of Fine Arts in Studio, CJ Matia, Krina Mehta, Sage Mutata, Jingwen Yu, Yuli Zhao, Master of Arts in Art Education, Ruben Pachas. <laughs> Ricardo Partida. <laughs> Master of Arts in Modern and Contemporary Art History, Emilia Nicholson Fajardo. Lydia Pfeiffer. Dual degree, Masters of Art in Modern and Contemporary Art History and Master of Art in Art it's, Arts Administration and Policy, Tess Mikin Haratonic. <laughs> Master of Arts in New Arts Journalism, Karen Anderson. <laughs> Stephanie Mihas Ronda. Zainab Ahmed. Master of Arts in Teaching, Mariam Razul Zadeh. <laughs> Master of Arts in Visual and Critical Studies, Lee Gallant. Hailang Liu.
Class of 2021 Masters, Master of Fine Arts in Studio, Ashmal Mansiman Miller. Margo Siegel. Master of Fine Arts in Writing, Philip Cozy. Fallon Leba. Master of Arts in Arts Administration and Policy, Carla Aguinaga. Sophia Gabrielle Del Cayo. Tessa Betsy Miller. Master of Arts in Art Education, Jasmine Estelle Beal. Master of Arts in Art Therapy and Counseling, Tabitha Kunkas. Master of Design in Designed Objects, Evan Amundsen. Master of Architecture, Yusha Modi. Jayun Liu. Riesling Dong. Sylvia Bowersox. <laughs> Class of 2022, Master of Fine Arts and Studio. Noelle Afrique. Madeline Aguilar. Masha Alafar. Yaismil Alba Garib. Yusuf Al Zayed. Delilah Uneya. Friedrich Andreoni. Chase Coleman Barney. Jess Bass. Fatima Bernal. Uh, Bauman, oh sorry, Daniel Bauman. Sarah Conway Brophy. Lisa Bjornstad. Anna Chai. Maria Burundanera. Hang Yu Chen. Ale Mauricio Campos. Peter Evan Costas. Erica Lorette Dimola. Alexis D. Shawnak. Sofia Fernandez Diaz. Apostolos Dukakis. Eleanor Goglin Frick. Yuhao Chen. Yumi Erica Fukuda. Tom Gal. Congrats. <laughs> Jiming Gao. Sydney Louise Gush. Peyton Aliyah Harris Woodard. Mary Lou Eloisa Herrera. Elizabeth Ann Haying. Ashley Halton. Kaishin Zhang. Nancy Jin. Mariah, Mariah Ellen Joyce. Ugo Evan Zwadis. Zwadis. Avon Kaur. Uh, Ellen Marie Kenston. S.H. Kim. Kate Kim. J Journey Nicola Kierdain. <laughs> Sloan Klusendorf. Meredith Samantha Kopelman. Jungwoo Lee. Kyung Lee. Jamie Lynn Lewin. 
Ishmael Thomas Lipman. Erica Maria Littlejohn. Noor Malas. Maddie May. Dor Mayman. Katie Lynn McDermott. Luba Mendelvich. Olivia Munchell. Maria Margarita Moreno Castro. Caveras LaFrederick Moore. Michael Mosher. Zoe Morgan. Aya Bonifacia Munoz Diaz. Paige Alice Naylor. Sarah Narubakash. Chingyong Nu. Ruth Elizabeth Poor. Vince Fun. Tiago Ramos Mena Abrantes. Cheng Chong Dung. Katie Roth. Ruby Quay. Olivia Mikolai Ridge. Shielden Ren. Caleb John Schroeder. Kenneth Sanchez de la Pena. Margaret Sibek. Lichi Shang. Jessica Lane Smoot. Jonas Sun. Tuong Trung. Katie McCurdy Williams. Ji Yan Yi An Wang. Yu Shin Wu. Xi Shen Wu. Yue Shu. Zhu Yar Yi. Jimong Yu. Jasmine Huayamin Ye. Junfeng Zhang. Tatiana Zakuliak. Linhan Zhang. Yi Hong Zhang. Master of Fine Arts in Writing. Western Brimage. William Ferguson. Holly Finkelman. Jennifer Lauren Hawkins. Sharon M. Hauk. Emily McGriff. Abigail Rose McDonald Crook. Kyle McVeigh. Ethan Pickett. Julie Kathleen Ricks McClintock. Jason David Rodriguez. Master of Arts in Arts Administration and Policy, Alexander Ward Botts. Ruby Jean Dudesek. Megan McCray. Rebecca Lowe Messina. Eugene O. Oh. Mariana Mejia Garcia. <laughs> Hannah Stevens. Master of Arts in Art Education, Holly Marie Abney, Catherine Grace Barry, Jessica Chung, Imani Davis, Heather Hill, Hannah Jane Linsky, Gladys Puente, Master of Arts in Art Therapy and Counseling, Taylor Ann Chamberlain. Jessica Yoon Chung. Megan Ryan Curran. 
Aisia Drake. Natalia Gumendi. Ching Wen Zhu. Miriam Anita Hudson. Rua Kareem. Nathaniel Aaron Love. Ellen Grace McMurray. Margaret Michaels. Abigail Ponontiente Monsalud. Alexandra Drusier. Anna Teresa Olson. Ann Patterson. Jamie Powell. Inaya Dometa Sherry. Yi Wei. <laughs> che Winnie Young Wong. Master of Arts in Modern and Contemporary Art History, Elsa Harstad. Riley Maya Thomas. Dual degree, Master of Arts in Modern and Contemporary Art History and Master of Arts in Arts Administration and Policy. Maria Mariela Arunia. Sophie Buckmuller. Heather Lynn Burich. Elise Marie Butterfield. Catherine Crane. Chauncey James Daniel II. Rebecca Lee Goodman. Emily Renee Nagel. Kirsten Suzanne Shook. Congrats. Marin Lane Florence Williams. Master of Arts in Teaching. Nicole Hippolito Abanador. Beatrice Beckford. Nicole Marie Caggiano. Marissa Katz. Natalia Regina Mara. Olivia C. McLean. Ting Ting Sha. Master of Arts in Visual and Critical Studies, Madeline Austin. Alexandria Eregbu. Kyle Joseph Hager. Klaulas Rochu. Master of Arts in New Arts Journalism, Zephanie Dene Battle. Priyanka Kumar. Emily Silvera Andrade. Master of Science in Historic Preservation, Elizabeth Haley Berg. David Klein. Dylan Edward Maddox. Ashley Elizabeth Boduck. Amanda Fusen. Master of Design and Designed Objects. Jiang Chen. Sorry. Chen. Jiang Chen. Christopher Andrew Daniel, Daniel Bagon. Ray Jiang. Vashisht Manoj Rajani. Sammy Bo Peng. Sarah Prado. Cassandra A. Scanlon. Sarah Selmich. Shifundi Sun. Ziming Wang. Changsheng Zhao. Master of, Art, Arch, Master of Architecture, Holly Roche Brinker. Elise Palomino. Tyler Monique Porter. Arwa Kalawa. Grace Quintana. Roberto Santiago Quiros. Caleb Randall. Ellison Ann Reed. Jordan Vela. Master of Architecture with an emphasis in interior architecture. Sarah Zetzember. Gabriel Arcaradine Duisteria. 
Afnan Al Moody, Ye Feng, Heath Jung, Yi Yang Lao, Shukui Zhang, Jie Juin Chi. Lin Lin, Shintong Leo, Derek McCormick, Master of Design in Fashion, Body, and Garment, Matthew Michael Cook, Agnieszka Hammerlich, Post Back. Baccalaureate Certificate in Studio. Palak Patel. Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Fashion Body and Garment. Robin Nicole Bajoy Falcon. Ji Yu Zhao. Liping Yang. Class of, class of 2020 Bachelors, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Studio, Noura Badin. Emmy Benson. Kyung Sim Chang. Karishma Doita. Sorry, sorry. Christina Drake. Kenya Fulton. Vinashri Gandhi. Isabella Kaminsky. Su Min Kim. Dennis Kozarik. Addison Leon. Rachel Lui. Harini Nilakantan. Alyssa Peterson. Amanda Pineda. Mia Rickman. Ryan Sasser. Annabelle Sigmund. Ariana Sillen. Charles Trout. Daniel Wode. Caitlin Wong. Liana Yonan. Bachelor of Arts in Art History, Sierra Floyd. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Visual Crit Critical Studies, J. Nico Holler. <laughs> Class of 2021 Bachelors, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Studio, Maria Jesus Amosaria. Courtney Renee Anderson. Carolina Bueno Cervantes. Jada Bennett. Avni Bushan Nagal. Ephemia Bacias. Daniel Bracamontes. Nicole Burns. Bella Chen. Jenny Chen. Elizabeth Lu Lei Cho. Lu Yin Chu. Yiyang Wang. Luisa De Silva Milmo. Gori Desai. Kian Rose Kunanen. 
Hyeon Hee Do. Eve Feldman. Eve Maria Granen. Lam Huang. Annalee Kimes. Diego Luchega Rodriguez. Shu Ru Liang. Lydia Madrid. Rebecca Milnes. Raven Mo. Tomoyasu Nakano. Dara Oramaras. Fernanda Pacheco Olgan. Maya Ray. Santiago Alvarez. Bin Chen. Aiden Simonian. Carly Page Soragan. Brett Benjamin Stozik. Ellie Sun. Sydney Taylor. <laughs> Isaac Tayez. Allison Thomas. Christian Narobi Terrado Torres. Florence Travail. Summer Tribble. Ru Shu Wei. Zhao Shi Wang. Shuang Wang. Chao Ying Zhou. Bachelor of Arts in Visual and Critical Studies, Amanda Marie Skerwakowicz. Thank you. <laughs> Class of 2022 Bachelors, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Studio, Sabria Adul Wahid. Nicholas Woodall Knowles Adam. Roshini Niagawal. Shreya Agarwal. Gabriela Agreda. Esther Aj Ajay. Esteban Alarcon. Juani Alcaraz. Sydney Lynn Aldrich. Tess Peterson Allen. Lich Richard Lee Andreessen. Jackie Grace Andres. Jesse Laura Arnold. Hilana Nicole Arocho. Jennifer Ann Arthur. Sa Da Asim. Sayemin Atwood. Allison Reina Baggio. Sam Joe Baker. Nolan Berry. Bailey Bass. Lauren Beatty. Sherry Bin. Megan Bishop. Rosemary Rub Rodriguez. Lola Blake. Bethany Lane Bloom. Henry Bolschenstein. Andrew Allen Bolin. Aussie Taylor Boudreau. Justin Taylor Brock. Rachel Elise Brown. Iris Beakley. Macarena Burbano. Zachary Alois Burgart. Ashua Butler. Natalia Canella. Long Cow. Bailey Michaela Carlisle. Matthew Christopher Catalano. Emily He Wong Che. Trevor Joseph Chan. Bhavna Chandra Muli. Han Chi Chang. Hoshin Chang. Kim Chow. Hong Jin Chen. Jamie Chen. 
Tian Chi Chen. Wen Yui Chen. Jin Yui Chen. Yu Hang Chen. Shi Huan Chao. Enuji Cho. Sally Cho. Mu Yao Che. Un Xiao Choi. Milo Christia. Angela Cristodolu. Michelle Rose Cilion. Bryce Civello. Civiello. Matt Koba. Madison Jean Coleman. Michelle Congolese. Lily Elizabeth Cooper. Naruzzi Gisel Coronel. Zhao Kai Hui. Charlotte Dai. Nok Min Dong. Parker Parker Davis. Arabella De Vita. Wayne Michael Dagan. Jocelyn Renee De Great. Will Lawson Wineski. Gabrielle Cantine De Kirschen. Eva Dylan Recht. Wan Ho Do. Han Dong. Emily Elizabeth Dormeyer. Zane Mugen Dowd. Castian Dowling. Jeanette Hazel Driftmeyer. Zeppelin Drake Dufour. Denver Lewis Dukes. Annabelle Marie Dunstan. Malin Rose Aiken. Stevie Emrick. Sanchi Engineer. Michelle Hannah Espenson. Ellen Fayanru Wado. Yu Ki Fan. Nicole Finelli. Jordan Nicholas Ferguson. Melon Fersnebener. Eunice Augusto Ferreira. Tobin Christopher Fincher. Hannah Elizabeth Fiorillo. Samuel Punleo Fizel. Lucas Ryan Flanders. Andrea Florence Elstein. Luis Andrea Flores Navarrete. Declan John Flynn. Erica Taylor Francino. Veronica Lane Franzen. Lillian Freeman. Julie Singna Fulner. Matthew Gaffney. Jamie Elizabeth Geyer. Alyssa Gilbert. Anastasia Glad Gladvoka. Gladvoka. Anna Lee Mayer Godfrey. Megan Goff. Angela Anna Golota. Sophia Rosanna Gomez. Isabel Ann Gumper. Madison Kine Gondro. Marcel Green. Rutan Guan. Charlotte Ife Guan. Julia Guillory. Niti Haresh Gursahani. We Quinn Gustavason. Madeline Elsbeth Guthrie. Hannah Claire Hakami. Paris Hall Black. Cassidy Morgan Ham. Madeline Amanda Hampton. Erin Margaret Hanna. Madeline Kate Hansen. 
Jae Queen Hao. Jojo Michelle Hart. Peyton Hatchet. Naomi Hawksley. Liang He. Ravi Hiralal. Helen Hicks Buell. Iomi Cohen Hoken. Emily Holsinger. Renee Hong. Annie Hu. Ki Wen Hu. Jia Yi Huang. Ling Ju Huang. Li Yang Huang. Wheel Hang Huang. Wei She Huang. Nancy Dan Huyn. Anastasia Jean Ingstad. Tanisha Jalen. Elizabeth James. Ji Hung Jan. Ji Hyun Wang. Sana Jankaharia. Hannah Marie Jeffries. Victoria Rose Jenkins. Maxon Lee Ju. Sonia Shi Bai Jai. Zhao Han Jiang. Belize Belize Aiden. Yu Ning Jiang. Irang Jing. Cole Walker Johnson. Sophie Silman Jones. Steve Jones. Kelsey Ann Jonke. Sojin Stephanie Young. Ho Jun Kang. Kyung Grim Kang. Yuming Kang. Michael Aiden Karp. Kavya Kataria. Jeffrey Kaya. Kazimir Kazakov. Grace Marie Kellison. Sarah Jean Kelly Ambriz. Larsa Mariam Kenna. Sharunya Kemka. Beatrice Kilkelly Schmidt. Yu Jin Kim. Unsuk Kim. Kelly Hiona Kim. Luke Kim. Min Ji Kim. So Hyun Kim. See Wu Kim. Rachel Kim. Wu Yan Kim. Sarah Kim. Young Wu Kim. Corin King. Jane King. Shama Kipfer Tesler. Thomas Javier Kaiser. Daniel Joseph Koyak. Ling Shi Kong. Mei Ching Kong. Hei Kyung Ku. Rika Kova. Spencer Malone Cryway. Ji Un Ku. Pei Ying Kuo. Grace Kwan. Stella Hiram Kwan. Rina Mason. Gigi Lai. Megan Laura Landro. Amy Pearl 
Lang. Julie Kathleen Lanotui. Leah Locke. Daria Lavrova. Tirza Lawson. Koi. <laughs> Cecil Hui Hong Lee. Jenny Lee. Juliana Lee. Sun Ho Lee. Yi Ning Lee. Yu Lim Lee. Yu Pei Lee. Jane Leopold. David Allen Lenser, Lensner. Ungu Sarah Lee. How Lee. Angelina Lee. Keming Lee. Li Yang Lee. Jin Ron Lee. Roa Lee. Dan Ching Liang. Sylvia Liang. Matilda Ling. Shannon Lin. Sherry Fei Lin. Di Liu. Jia Yi Liu. Jishian Lui. Catherine Liu. Nina Liu. Sarah Mint Liu. Cece Liu. An Li Yu. Cindy Zihan Liu. Elena Jane Logan. Jing Zhao Chris Sophia Long. Sophia Lopez. Leslie Lopez Lizarraga. Thea Lu. Clara Lu. Dante Apollo Lumsden. Hui Ting Lo. Meng Ying Lo. Jason Sen Luo. Catherine Grace Luther. <coughs> Mai Nu Lee. Riley Lauren Lynch. <laughs> Wu Yu Liu. Lisa Mackey. Malcolm Mackey. Ray Madrigal. Chi Xuan Mai. Tanya Mahota. Maeve K. Mallers. Asata Matt Mason. Peter Graham McDaniel. Joseph John McColgan. Alexandra Lindsay McDermott. Dermot Thomas McHugh. Livia Adair McNulty Myron. William Murillo. Renee Anna Morell. Juliet Patrice Morris. Lou V. Najar Rulin. Noam Nyberg. Ava Pearl Newharth. Audrey Linawan, sorry, Newen. Lillianne Menhal Odishu. Ian Christian Ogdell. Sung Hyun Sam Oh. Anna Rose Okamara. Bridget O'Neill. Sarah Elizabeth Ort. Maria Helena Pais. Scarly Yoshi Palacios. Jin Kyung Park. 
Han Ik Cho. Jun Wan Park. Myung Park. Sino Park. Solby Park. Su Bin Park. Sung Young Park. Lillian Kofer Parker. Fick Patterson. Fernando Pena. Ling Peng. Fawn Penn. Ashley Parisi. Jennifer Lee Peterson. Matthew Victor Pullovan. Amparo Del Tremadel Pons Grau. Adelaide Brennan Price. Tegan Cristiano Pritchard. Ethan Proya. Nadia Xenia Poritsky. Kathleen Yuna Ra. Fallon Drew Rabin. Megan Adela Ramirez. Xander Raymond. Jingwen Ren. Darian K. Ridener. Nagi M. Rivera. Grace Elizabeth Roberts. Emily Robinson. Lucia Cristina Roca. Lee Miko Romero. Yen Rung. June Francis Rosario. Jordan Eblin Roth. Solene Rullier. Kel Ruiz. Olia Salimino, sorry, Salimova. Eden Helen Sanders. Rita Santoso. Bavia Safra. Anju Sashida. Audrey Camille Scherer. Goldie Joy Schmidler. Alex Schonauer. Lillian June Schumacher. Boomer Scripps. Elizabeth Yoon Ju Sun Wu. Rajvi Shah. Sanika Shah. Hatem Shakuf. Inan Sa Shan. Ying Shin Shang. Xiang Shan. Yang Shen. Noah Sherbin. Anushka Omobai Sheth. Prachika Prakasha Shetty. San Shi. Kang Pai Shi. Liu Sierra Shi. Reje Shimani. Paulina Shlovskaya. Nikita Singh. Casper J. Sisk. Catherine Sawia, Sophia Squirrel Brown. Elena Victoria Smentkovsky. Abigail Leah Smith. Min Ni So. Catherine Sommons. Lei Yi Song. Ung Jing Song. Raven Shelby Smith. Luis Pablo Sota. Stevie Stevens. Morgan Rose Ann Stevens. Christian James Stone. Iris Stratman. Chi Huan Sun. Kathleen Isabella Spela. Micah Lewis Van Sweezy. Lillian Rose Simansky. Jane Tao. 
Harold Taylor. Kayla Erin Taylor. Jensen Tang. Lauren Elizabeth Thomas. Ryan Michael Thompson. Willow Thorson. D. Tian. Xin Yi Tai. Ella Tol Omeo. Janet Marie Torres. Alana Tran. Jackson Travis. Yi Rong Tang. Samantha Jordan Travis. Car Carolina Maria Trujillo. Nicole Shunru Chai. Samuel Davids Tufts. Laura Eileen Alexa Tunga. Amy Lynn Tyler. Meta Lee Uland. Sai Prav Pranavi Virmachanaye. Michael Vick. Inara Vishnani. Gay Tong Wang. Annie Wang. King Yui Wang. Nico Waters. Yu Shuan Wei. Hayden Lee Wentworth. Sherman White. Samantha Whitlock. Ashton Williams. Olivia Wolf. Megan Eva Wong. Ji Su Wu. Kenya Wu. Leroy Alexander Winter. Melody Ming Chen Wu. Su Hong K. Wu. Charles Harrison Warwick. Guan Jing Shan Zhu. Tian Xu. Victoria Eugen Yang. Yi Chang Yang. Yi Tao Yang. Yuki Yang. Andrea Jin Yi. Judith Madeline Yanaberry. Chi Yin. Ji Shu Yu. Ling Hui Yu. Scout Yu. Zhui Ying Yu. Hansi Yuang. Alice Stanislav Zakarenko. Minghang Zhang. Xin Yu Zhang. Xinghang Zhang. Li Di Zhang. Seju Zhang. Zhou Yu Zhang. Ling Ling Zhao. Yi Zhao. Okay. Yu Yang Zhao. Le Yi Zhang. Zhao Zhao Zhu. Wanchi Hesper Zhang. Ki Yu. Mora Zhu. Asher Zimant. Arazeli Zuniga. Chris Wu.
Bachelor of Arts in Visual and Critical Studies. Lillian Pliomo. Grace Helen Coffey. Selma Musa. Miranda Ochoa Natara. Bachelor of Fine Arts with an emphasis in art education, Yasmin Al Yi Yefei. Joseph Christian Barcelona. Eloise May Betts. Jamie Rose Chichester. Ji Sung Chun. Sarah Jennifer Crawford. Julia Anna Kunin. Anna Maria Gallen. Allison Emerald. Rebecca Dawn Levitan. Elena Nicole Lehman. Samantha Marable. Mo Nichols. Elise Kathleen Olson. Elizabeth Rose Ramirez. Nisa Rhea of Sunshine. Simone Athena Sigoski. Isis Marley Steppelfrick. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Art History. Yebit Hong. Audrey Elizabeth Markle. Bachelor of Arts with an emphasis in writing, Stevie Sorolo. Fiona Kathleen Duffy. Lauren Gangler. Alexa Jetty Hansen. Alida Young Mack. Sydney Nicole Macias. Jesse Elizabeth McCarty. Olivia Meadow M. Meyer. Peyton McKenzie, sir. On behalf of the more than 30,000 alumni of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. We are so proud to welcome you to the alumni community. Our global network is amazing. Creative. Diverse. Passionate. And full of people who have gone through the transition that you're about to begin. At SAIC, you've learned to be creators and makers. Use those skills, not just in your work, but to create a life full of meaning. Embrace uncertainty. Stay connected. I know that SAIC will always be a part of your story. No matter what comes next. Congratulations. 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 Thank you, SAIC alums, for the great message. Before we move on to the conferral of degrees, if you haven't found them already, there's a cap under your chairs for you to take as a memento of this celebration. And now to the final business of the day. Will the master's and certificate candidates from all classes please rise?
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and the Board of Trustees of the Art Institute of Chicago, I now confer upon you your degree or certificate as appropriate to your curriculum with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities pertaining thereto. You may be seated. Will the bachelor's candidates please rise? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and the Board of Trustees of the Art Institute of Chicago, I now confer upon you your degree as appropriate to your curriculum with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. And with that, congratulations to the graduates of the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Just a moment. 